All right, there was two Bigfoots here that I'm showing you. My favorite is the Viking one, and my second favorite is the Warrior Bigfoot. And I'm going to enhance them both for you, so you're going to get to see both of them. This screenshot is from a video I made in 2014. I was about a mile past the bridge up Tiger Canyon at a spot that used to be a campground down off the hill. Tiger Canyon takes off and goes steep and then zigzags up over the top of the mountains up towards Kendall Way. And it's way off past the end of Mill Creek. It goes way deep in the mountains. It's right below an area, a, a, a popular sighting that's, that people talk about. This son and his dad were hunting and they had gone back to retrieve part of their their deer or elk and saw a creature carrying it away and this sighting really intrigued me it got me to drive up there one day and I was by myself and it's one of the times that I felt I felt um, uneasy and while I was filming, I'm down on the road. I'm looking at some grass across the road, and uh, I saw some pretty good impressions in the grass that looked like they went down into that old campsite that's no longer a campsite. And I thought to myself, you know, they don't really want to be walking along this road because of the rocks. The rocks were pretty large size and jagged. But I panned and got up towards the other embankment on the other side of the road. One side it goes down, you're looking down over the steep hillside towards the creek. The other side you're looking up this mountain. And while I'm panning up there, I, I walk up close and I'm looking for prints and I'm looking for a pathway up on the hill. And I get into this Douglas fir tree. And the branch that hung way down towards the ground was probably about 15 20 feet away from me and I would panned my camera over to the right and panned back and as I as I'm panning back I'm, I'm looking into the shadows with my eyes and as I'm panning back I see that that branch just flipped like something moved it and that's where I got my first really good photograph of these warrior Bigfoots and what I saw was what looked like to me it looked like a blob just a, a solid blob but it was enough that my intuition <laughs> made me back up back up and I looked in my eyes and I couldn't focus on it so I, I kept panning I didn't think a whole lot about it I kept panning and a couple little creatures showed up in my video and it was the Tiger Canyon video I, ha I have it in my archive and I'm gonna pull it out it's gonna be one of the next videos when I first did that video my analysis of the video wasn't spot-on like I can do nowadays nowadays I'm a little bit more detailed about taking my time drawing these things out and while I'm going through that old video, and I pulled out this screenshot. I don't have the original footage. I've only got the video. So I pulled out this footage and made this screenshot, and I've showed it before. But what I've gone and done now is I've enhanced it the best I could. I, I went in with, with my art utensil and drew it in place so that you can see it. And I'll start off with that. I want you to be able to see it and what it is is he's looking down like this and he's wearing a headdress of some kind he's got this headdress and there are white ball shapes that go up the sides of it almost looks like a wing over here but right between these ball shapes up here looks like a, a knife like he's got a knife tucked in and these ball shapes could be decorations that he's done to his dreads in order to camouflage and stand there but he's looking down like this he's not looking at me he's looking down 
into the, the bottom of that hillside where I picked up this other little small creature. His eyes point out the other little creature. And there's a little creature sticking its head out. And my camera picked that up. I didn't see it. I, I saw the dark shadows there, but I didn't see anything. And I'd gone back home that day, and I just had this feeling. I really needed to look over this footage, and I've been looking over this footage a lot. And this one specific screenshot is something that I really want to emphasize on because it's my favorite Bigfoot picture that's come out of any and all of my videos. And he reminds me of Thor. If you guys remember the comic book hero Thor. He sort of looks like Thor. He looks like a Viking. But he, when I look at the face, I see the face of the first Bigfoot that I saw face to face. And I'm confident that it's him. And I believe that this particular Bigfoot is the leader in this area of the Bigfoots. And I honestly mean that. I think this one is, he shows himself to me for a reason. And so I just wanted to show this Bigfoot. I've enhanced it for you. Um, I've stayed up late working on it. I'm tired, so I just want to get it done, slap it together for you, and let you look at it. Anyway, peace. Tell me what you think. These canyons are deep. Used to be an old campground down here. They've filled the road in so you can't go down there. They pushed all this over the side. Used to be able to go down there and camp. Um, I'm going to switch cameras. I doubt they'll be walking on this rocky shit. I have not found any evidence. But up here, campers have seen, there was a <coughs> Sasquatch is seen up here by campers years ago. 1966 up here tracks were found. Um, the camper, or the, the hunter and his son, up on these draws up there, they uh, saw a squatch. I talk about that one a lot because, uh, that's a real credible one. Whenever there's a witness with the person and they both claim to have seen it, it's almost, you know, you gotta, you gotta believe them. Anyway, there's a spot way up there. I mean, why couldn't you just build yourself a little, a little uh, campground and be hidden away from the rest of the world, huh? Why couldn't you? If you were a Sasquatch, hide and not be seen, hardly be seen. you got to think about it. You know, they are very intelligent. They're not stupid. Yeah, finding any prints along here is going to be next to impossible. It gets rockier as you go up. They've dumped a lot of rock on the side of the road up here nowadays to make travel easy. That doesn't mean you can't find a Sasquatch print. If you look hard, you can often find them. Look up this jaw. This looks like a trail right here. So we'll check that. You never know. Let's look. Deer. I don't see anything squatchy. You know, that's probably a nice shady hiding spot. Ah, 
Alright, I've zoomed in a little. i to turn it off to zoom it in. I can't stand that. I got a real cool tree back there. There's that one. A lot of rock up here on the side of the road. Finding tracks up here is next to impossible. I just love coming up here in the woods. There must be a lot of electronics in the city because uh, my ears ring when I'm in town. Come up here and it's dead silent and I love it. Alright, we're going to go down here and look a little bit more.